we're going to repeat this once more. And this time we're going to turn the rulers around so that they read in inches. Now I've had people comment that you can't do science in inches, you have to do it in the metric system. And uh, these are intelligent people, friends, people I like a whole lot, so I don't mean to say anything against them. However, you can measure, well, the accuracy of your measurement depends on the precision with which your measuring instrument is marked and on the, or the accuracy with which it's marked, and on the size of the divisions. Um, in this case, and things keep moving on me, so I have to keep realigning. Okay, I hope that's right. Okay, well, I'll comment as we go. Let's turn this thing so that it's about parallel. Let's make sure it's in the right position. I think we're okay. Okay, well, uh, as I was saying, um, the fact that we're measuring in inches and in eighths of an inch and so forth, that's not as convenient in many ways as measuring in metric units because it's going to be a little harder to do the arithmetic. However, a meter stick marked in millimeters <coughs> is not going to give you as good a result as a ruler in inches and feet that's subdivided into 60 fourths of an inch, which are smaller than millimeters. There are a lot of reasons that we sometimes want to use something other than a metric ruler. In this case, I chose the inches because I'm not sure you're going to be able to see the millimeters as accurately as you'll see the inches and the eighths of an inch and so forth. Of course, we have sixteenths down here. We only have eighths on the meter stick. <coughs>